like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. When it take a swim, only option is to win. Welcome to our post show wrap up of the shrimp tank, and we're on uh, the show today with Trey Diller and my co host Tom Glover. Trey, thanks for being on the show. Thank you. Um, on our post show wrap up, we want to give you some high points of what the show was about and encourage you to download the whole show on houston.shrimptankpodcast.com. We're real excited about this show. It's one of the best that we've uh, had because this is the first time we've had on a young entrepreneur that's got a successful production company. And what I'm fascinated about with your personal story, Trey, is that uh, you really went from a um, football career, and I'm not talking about small time. I'm talking about college. You were signed by who? The Carolina Panthers? Yes, sir. Yep, signed by the Carolina Panthers. And uh, you had some injuries, and I know that uh, – locally in high school and then in college you big name player and uh one day with through the course of some injuries all of that ended and uh you found yourself uh, uh really uh, trying to figure out who you are and what you're going to do with the rest of your life could you just tell our audience a little bit about that story um you're going to have to listen to the whole podcast to hear it all but just just a couple of the high points of that trey well, uh, just followed my dream my whole life. Um, wanted to play football. I mean, played football since I was a little kid. And um, it was between football and baseball. I was I was actually better at baseball uh, growing up and got into a situation at Oak Ridge High School in ninth grade and uh, ended up having to transfer schools. And when I got over to College Park, the coach over there did not want me to play baseball. So I just pursued football and uh Worked, worked my tail off in every aspect of, of the game, weight rooms and the academics, off the field, on the field, and uh, just followed, followed my dreams every day, and, and it, it all paid off in the end. Yep. So his dreams changed. He went from, uh, you know, aspiring football player, Carolina Panthers, to now what do I do? And then you've started this entertainment and production business, and it's taken off. I'm really impressed with how you've been able to just pick yourself up by the bootstraps and do that. So how did you do that? <laughs> Uh, just had a passion, you know, had a passion for uh, bringing large amounts of people together. And this in the entertainment industry, that's kind of what it is. Yeah. It's all about how many people you can draw into the event because that's essentially how you get paid is numbers. So what's interesting to me, I, I was jotting down some things that I think it would take to coordinate large events like this. you got to worry about the artists, vendors, the venue, negotiations with contracts, um, security, I assume, the staging. So how did you learn all that stuff? Day by day, uh, I mean, we kind of learned it on the go. It's, it's. We, we've talked with some people who have put together some events and done some consulting with some people, and uh, just bounced ideas and, and seeing what works, see what doesn't work, turned in all our applications and, and got approved, got denied, and, and just played it day by day. So this is what's interesting to me is as a business planner, I'm used to having everything mapped out and then you go execute. And what they've done is just they've learned it as they've went. And uh, it's they had an they, idea they, and they went yeah. for it and had to figure it out along the way. Trey, so tell us what is uh, tell us about your couple of events you have coming up. In case a listener does not already know, you have a couple of uh, big events coming up on the uh, Town Green. Tell us about those. So on September 10th, uh, I have a Beyond the Pines Music Festival. Beyond the Pines is a one-day music festival featuring Aaron Watson, Lucas Nelson, Shooter Jennings, Reckless Kelly, Parker McCollum, Uncle Lucius, Flatland Calvary, and many more. Uh, three stages. Big name bands, yeah. Yep, three st- rattle them off. Just three shoot. stages, uh, food trucks, entertainment for the whole family. And uh, cold beer, of course. Lots of people will be in attendance. We've already sold over 1,200 tickets. Tickets are on sale now at btpfest.com for $45. The early bird tickets sold out quick. Uh, you can buy your tickets and use the code Town Green for a discount on tickets. Oh, okay. Right so right you've sold 1,200 tickets already and sponsorships and all of that? Yes, sir. Got got some big sponsors on board. Wood Forest National Bank, uh, Chick-fil-A, et cetera, Strike Oil and Gas, uh, Mercedes-Benz, Planet Ford. Those are so, those are some of the, the big dogs. Uh, we got some big media partners involved with this. And uh, I don't want to leave out the, the, the charities and nonprofits that, that we're benefiting. We're uh, benefiting... Military Warrior Support Foundation, which right. is, uh, they're going to be actually giving away a house to a veteran at the at the event. Yeah. Um, we are Fabulous. partnering with Dog Foundation, which is a nonprofit 
military affiliate that provides service dogs for veterans. Um, we partnered with My Person Foundation, which is actually a local organization founded in the Woodlands by Brittany Cannon, uh, who's a daughter of Dr. Cannon from Woodland Sports Medicine. And uh, it's a suicide awareness and suicide prevention group that's a, a big topic going on in, our, in Montgomery County right now. So uh, we partnered with them, and we also partnered with Pup Squad, which is a no-kill animal shelter. And so we're going to be benefiting all those charities uh, through ticket it's sales, awesome. through alcohol sales. We're going to have a huge silent auction. So if you want to come benefit some charities, come on out on September So we're, go 10th. we're, we're cool. going, right? Uh, our producers and crew from uh, the Shrimp Tank, yeah, they're, they're, they're here saying, yeah, we're going. You're paying so, for the tickets. Uh -huh. <laughs> we'll buy, buying the tickets? We'll buy tickets okay. and, and go. Trey, uh, how old are you? Let me ask you this. 26 years old. 26 years yeah, old. Yeah. He's a young guy. You young people. You listen to and look at what Trey's doing. He had a mindset that of I can do, not that I can't do. And uh, guess what? He is, uh, and his partners are making some big things happen. They're making big splashes right here in the woodlands. So you're going to want to go to the show, tune in, download it, houston.shrimptankpodcast.com. And by the way, Trey, tell our listeners one more time how they would get in touch with you, your phone number. Yeah, my uh, phone number is 713 Five nine four, three one six five. It's uh, on Ring twenty four seven, and I, I don't ever not answer my phone. So we're gonna put that to the test. You know, about two in the yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, right. if it's a random number, I especially the web, pick up. The website one more time, Trey. B is in boy, T is in Tom, P is in Patrick. Fest, short for festival. BTPfest.com. Okay. Excellent. We are so delighted to have you on the show. You're our, our youngest entrepreneur that we've That's had right. on, and yeah. it was a great yeah. show. Yes, Download the whole show, and uh, we'll be having you on next week. Thank you. I've been feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank.